we are recording, we are live. Hi and welcome to the It Channel episode number 67. This is the weekend edition of the It Channel and uh, today we have a record number of people on Skype. And this is like, uh, you know, yeah, we had seven people and now we have eight. That includes uh, from my right is uh, Sherwin. Hello. Sherwin is a writer, journalist for a major um, newspaper here in Singapore. Yep. He can be found and uh, usually on Digital Life or uh, twittercom slash Angel Sherwin. Angel Sherwin. Oh, that's what they call you, right? Usually, Sherwin. <laughs> you just when, came when I behave. When I behave. <laughs> you just came back from the states, uh, and I just came back from E three. Yep. Oh, how was E three? Uh, first time it was actually pretty fun, but wow, too many games to play, man. I tell you, it can get pretty crazy. Right. Especially when I'm the only one, you know, running around the entire show floor. <laughs> You're the only one there. I mean, well, f- for my publication, of course. Ah uh, yes, I mean, yeah, uh, and uh, uh, what 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 is the interesting thing that you found in E3? Uh, the number of half naked women there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is uh, is E3 still as big as it used to be? Because I thought they were scaling back a couple of years back, and then is it is it come back to big size, a uh, big extravaganza thing, or what? Yeah, they they scaled back a few years ago. After that, they came back to the big size, but I think there are now a lot more. There are a lot tighter controls. Uh, so okay. hearing from all the uh, jour- journals who've been there, you know, earlier part of the decade, they said that it's just so much more refined now. You know? uh, yeah, half naked women notwithstanding, lah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I mean, they, they, they still have a lot of uh, big game companies going up there just to do their usual show and tell. And okay. it's uh, I mean, you get to see. You know, developers from company A queuing up to play a game from company B and vice versa. It's very much an industry thing, but it's too, it can get pretty exciting, especially to see all the new games that are coming out later part of the year. Mm. So, mm. so what's your standout game this year? Yeah. What's my standout game? Uh? That you absolutely cannot wait for, for it to come out. Which game are you waiting for? I think the fanboy in me wants to play Star Wars Kinect. Oh God! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> of all the games there, Star Wars Connect lightsaber on. Yeah, on. yeah. Every every boy's dream, right? I'm just gonna go spend like ten. It is not every boy's dream because it's hey, a Star it's Wars not just, movie. So it's more than just lightsaber on. No, but it's more than just a lightsaber, right? Surely with the Kinect, you can do like force, uh, force yeah, lightning, force and... push, and like force yeah. dash and force jump. There you go. Oh, there we go. What is this game? I don't Maybe know this game. Maybe when you actually play it, it looks fun. It, it may be fun, but when I saw the demo, it looks stupid as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, just the, the part where you have, you know, to get your lightsaber turned on, you actually have to say lightsaber on. No, <laughs> you don't. You, you, you don't, you don't. The guy actually said it, but all you have to do is you just have to stretch out your right hand. Okay, mm. then. Kids will love it, though. Oh, well, my boys will like. Yeah, no, the Kinect, uh, the Microsoft Kinect is, is uh, the Xbox of uh, the. The wireless motion controller where you don't actually need to have anything you sort of you are the controller the kids will like that like yeah, it's, it's meant to be uh, used like for it. anyone yeah that's right and uh, uh, I also saw that during your live blog you also uh, there was a, a a demo for uh, modern warfare right where you actually hold up your hand like you're holding a gun and try to shoot somebody kind of thing no, no, that, that was, that was, uh, that was for some, yeah ghost recon yeah. ghost recon okay. yeah future soldier Ah. That one they, 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 that they didn't have no. demo. So, sorry, are you uh, okay? sorry? The the neighbor's dog is going a bit nuts. Uh, apologies if you guys are picking that up. Very just little, it. so it's fine. No, I just shoot it. <laughs> 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 oh, curry, don't worry, curry. we have thought of that. <laughs> I'll call you over for the curry tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> uh, continuing uh, with the introductions, uh, we have uh, on the right as ah the one that's showing on my screen is a Leah. Me? Hello. Yeah, hi, Leah. Just uh, brief, just briefly describe about yourself. I am. What am I? I am like a mama bear. How's that? Cool. 
you are also uh, the uh, wife to uh, Sheldon Go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So it's the only uh, husband and wife podcast in the whole wide world. It's two for the price of one. Exactly. <laughs> they are on the same connection, whether Come you on. want it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and Leah, Leah is a part of a, a creative community with, with in Malaysia, and you are also uh, kind of uh, organizing the Malaysian National. Uh, comics uh, convention, right? Games and comics. Games and comics. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, G. Games yes. and comic convention. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's led it to be uh, December uh, this year in most likely Mines um, Convention Center. And uh, we actually have quite a few comic artists and a Marvel um, talent scout um, more or less confirmed that they're coming out here. So we, it's been good, a lot of interest uh, for the conventions, and we're trying to find sponsors. So if anybody knows sponsors or exhibitors who want to be part of it, please go to the website. Mm. It's mgccon.org. Ah. Wait, we... so is this like the Singapore one as well? No, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> You obviously haven't met my wife because uh, you just no. walked right into that one. Yeah. Well played. Man, you could have warned me. <laughs> no, a little heads up. <laughs> Who do you think is, you know, poking uh, Sheldon's back on every podcast? What? 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 <laughs> poking? Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, too visual there. Oh, uh, then you won't be coming down for the next Singapore one, I guess. No, we won't. Actually, we would love to. It's just that the timing this year is a little bit awkward. The the organizers of the Singapore Con decided to have it in August rather than in December for some reason, and that's just a bit awkward for us. Ah, oh, okay. All right, and then uh, we have uh, Andrew. Andrew is a uh, uh, IT manager or someone who manager. Works with... I wish, man. <laughs> <laughs> For a large, a large, a large... Uh, IT coolie. La. IT coolie for a large multinational. Uh, global multinational. Huge. Yeah, that normally, you know, takes care of your iPad shipments. Usually. Actually, yes, we do. Yeah, and uh, he can be found on twitter.com slash AndrewKJS. Correct. Uh, yeah, let so me... how is everyone? We had an extended delay. So how's everyone? <laughs> yeah, it's been a few weeks now. Yep. It's been two weeks that we have yeah. not been on cast. Uh, sorry, just backtrack a bit. Leah, you can be found at twitter.com slash... Benchy Creative. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to figure out which one you want you can be on. <laughs> yes, I do have a lot of accounts. <laughs> right. A uh, couple of you new people we have on the podcast. I'm going to try to bring in uh, Mei Ying. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Being, tell us a yes. little bit about yourself. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm just a normal girl. <laughs> Hi, fast. Um, <laughs> in KL, I'm doing digital marketing at the moment. Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. ice cream. What? Well, yes, I do. I love ice cream, especially chocolate ice cream. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So next week, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> And uh, you are very actually very active in the social media scene in uh, Malaysia, and uh, I try to be. Try so to... I try to I try to attend almost every single uh, SMCKL that there is. Mm-hmm. But then, um, yeah, sometimes you know, sometimes and, I can't make it lah. Mm-hmm. Right, and you also spoke at the uh, web convention. Uh, what's that again? Uh, New Media Asia. That's right, New Media very Asia. Briefly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. Very, I have a small slot, very, very small slot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, big topic like social media. And that's why uh, she's yeah. here. <laughs> you used to do PR for um, big brands I... like Gucci and all that kind of stuff, right? No, not Gucci. Uh, Pavilion and Cartier. Ah, yes. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So she knows uh, fashion quite well. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about your latest campaign or is that uh, something still under wraps? Um, I, I guess we can mention it already. Um, so um, especially I think Leah would, Leah would know this. Um, 
because the uh, Banshee creative, right? You've been tweeting the office yes. guy a lot. <laughs> yes. I, Can we bu- do yeah. tweet a lot? No, <laughs> no but you've been, tweeting, you've been tweeting the office guy as well. Yes. Yeah. So uh, office guy is a, a uh, project sort of uh, under Office 365. So he's, we were sort of, he's sort of the part. So I'm not, I can't really speak much on it because I'm not the person in charge involved back end. Mm. But yeah, so Office 365 will be rolling out in in, in Malaysia uh, in July, uh, which is pretty soon. So they are on Facebook already. It's uh, uh, Check the link. Yeah, and uh, can we burst your bubble or should we just keep it as it is? Burst my bubble? What's my bubble? Not the bubble, the, uh, the, the person behind, you know. Well, oh, no. <laughs> no, okay. <It's> <laughs> well, yeah, well, <laughs> you hear it. You didn't hear it on this podcast. No, no. no you didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have... Um, Oh yeah, Ming, yeah. where can we can find you at twitter.com slash Ying T. Ming yeah, correct. And uh oh, yeah, so and uh, of course last but not least, uh Hisham. Hey, you forgot yes. your <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, yes. we we'll do Hisham first. <laughs> <laughs> Hisham, yes, Hisham. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, for me, I'm uh, currently uh, helping out with uh, coordinating cyber wellness uh, programs for primary schools and secondary schools. And that is, uh, yeah, that's what I do for my day job. Mm. You run yeah. digital marketing, marketing campaigns as well, right? For- uh, no, no, no. I help no. out with, I just help out with the, uh, uh, the, on- or the online of such campaign. Ah, I see. Okay. Cool. Uh, are you still involved uh, with other uh, podcasts here in Singapore? Yeah, yeah, I'm still involved. Uh, I'm, I'm back with Tech 65. I'm uh, currently uh, focusing more on the uh, uh, photography uh, podcast. Mm. And uh, let's see, yeah, basically about that. Uh, the rest of the team will focus on the other gadgets. Ah, cool. Cool. Yeah. And we can find you at M. Hisham. Uh, at Amisham from Twitter.com. Yeah. Yes, correct. That's right. And of course, uh, last but not least, again, we have two last but not least. Uh, Fast. Hey, can hey. you guys hear me? I just unmuted my mic. Yeah, we, we can hear you loud and clear. So tell us a bit about yourself, right. Fast. I'm on a three month sabbatical from uh, management consulting. Mm. And uh, basically, during the day, I design processes that help um, small companies do big stuff, just like big companies. Cool. And you used to come from big yeah. companies yourself, right? Yes. Yes, I, I do. I, I, I still enjoy being in big companies. So when I work with clients that are big, it sort of like reminds me of old days back in IBM and Siemens. Right, cool. Now, so today, I think we have a lot of people. Uh, I think, interestingly, uh, somebody I met today was from Google, and he was telling me that uh, we, they only launched the, uh, or rather launched the Google uh, Plus. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking it's Google Pulse for some reason. And because today I find, you know, I keep keying the web page and I don't know why it keeps giving me a blank page and says cannot be found. I put <laughs> pulse.google.com. <laughs> I know that, you're on to something. You never oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> pulse next project, next Google project. That's right. <laughs> and uh, and I think uh, I think we have a very um, number of people, some from uh, who are, uh, 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 you know, at, at People who advocate Facebook or people who use Facebook a lot, people who use Twitter a lot on this podcast, people who are just uh, just getting into social media or people who are using social media uh, on a regular basis or on a casual basis. So I think today we want to talk about this phenomenon that just happened. Well, I, I could call it phenomenon because in three days, uh, they got more than enough people coming on to a even, not even a beta invite. It is more like an alpha thing where they're going to get people coming and just test it out. And uh, I think Google Plus 
uh, as we are talking about, has uh, a way, has moved from where they, well, all the lessons they've learned from Google Wave and Google Bus to become a social network to a more working system that people now more enjoy using in that sense. Uh, and, and Google Plus is basically uh, a collection of things that you find uh, in social networks uh, that probably is not very much different from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, uh, or uh, Summify, who actually consolidates the uh, news for you. Some part of it uh, looks like Google News uh, as well. And uh, adding friends, uh, allowing you to actually create them in what they call social circles or circles, uh, easier to manage some of these contacts from yourself. Um, and and the page itself, excuse me, the page itself. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> nice brother live oh well <laughs> uh, I was holding that back very badly <laughs> it's going up the internet right now <laughs> it looked like Facebook from uh, you know from, from from the early days you know, uh, you know when you you have the whole the, the, the ice clinking in the glass it's a slightly cooler sound than uh, you know <laughs> And I keep knocking to my, uh, if you can see it on the live stream, I keep knocking into my mic's, uh, you know, uh, uh, boom, uh, 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 my boom mic's, uh, what do you call that? The one that actually prevents the boom sound to happen. I keep forgetting what that called, a filter. What am I talking about? Yeah, a mic <laughs> filter. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> what do you guys think about Google Plus? Chime Love in, anybody. It. You have it? Yeah, from bit, but I but I think I think the part where uh, the invite is is now gone, the invite button is gone. I think that could be pre-planned, maybe could be a PR stint, like you know, because normally like with Google, with Google, with Gmail last time also the invite was limited, right? Everything has been limited invites, uh, and then this was like open invite. And and I had a friend in Google, so when I first saw the invite button, that's the first thing that I asked him. I said, if I invite my friends, how many friends can I invite? And he said, good question. There's no answer. So oh, I thought yeah. there is. I thought there was like limited to ten. Um, no, I, he no. I had I, I had ten. Limited. I had only ten invites to send out. Are, are you sure? Because um, Harinda Harinda invited 147 people. He counted. Whoa. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he invited 80. By the time he invited 80, somebody mentioned that the button is gone, but it was still there for him. So he continued inviting. And then he, he tweeted, like, his last count was 147. So I, I only managed to invite like five because I was busy with work. And then I thought I'll do it later in the day when I'm more free. By the time I'm free, the button's gone. So, right. so I, I thought it could be a pre-planned stint. Oh, uh, okay. But the official news that came out it says that you know, because it was too overwhelming, yeah, they had to yeah. stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It sounds well, like. Well, I don't that. know. It's it's kind of weird because the first thing that uh, the first thing that I did when I got uh, access is you know you got to set up your circles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the circles there's a there's a link there that says find an invite right. Mm -hmm. So find an invite. I've in, I've got in brackets five hundred. So I was like what? <laughs> because that's that's a little bit confusing, right? So the the first the first thing that I was very unclear on is how do you determine who's in plus who's not in plus does it matter when you add them to the circle how does that affect them whether they're in plus or not and then when i've got this find and invite in brackets 500 what, what, you know it just makes it sound as if i can invite 500 people which is a little bit no, confusing if if yeah. you if you look through the list right it actually divides among people who are already in google plus and people who aren't yeah. the ones listed above are the ones who are already using google plus you scroll down you see the rest of them are the ones who haven't signed up for Google Plus yet and you right. can actually just share via email. Yeah, I know. So so the the whole share share with them via email, the fact that they're under this list that says find yeah. an invite. If I click on them and then I drag them over to a circle, I wasn't sure if does that mean that, you know, they're gonna get invited or what's, what's They're not. Doing? That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I think I think starting today, um, Google has opened it up up to the public again because if you go to plus.google.com you can see that you can anyone can sign in now oh I, I think oh, really? they're back up. oh yeah. so so you don't need invites anymore i i don't think so oh. i mean that's what well, that's i get when i because i never invited anybody so so what i've been <laughs> here what i've been hearing from this guy uh today this morning 
uh, was mm-hmm. that uh, you, there's actually apparently a loophole. And, but the loophole requires the person to have a Google profile. So you can invite anybody. Uh, you cannot invite him. You can actually add him to your circle. And then you have to post something with his name on it or post to that circle. And he get an invite automatically. Yep, that's how I've been inviting people, basically. You mm. just post a message and then you just type in the person's email and you'll get an invite automatically. So you do, I didn't even see the invite button. Yeah, uh, I don't have an invite button. On. Yeah. Oh, let me try. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but so many loophole or not, I think it has gotten people excited because the moment they people know, like like with Google Wave or even the original Gmail, the moment people know that there's an invite, then they try, you know, the ways and means to get one. I've had people actually like ask me very nicely if I could spare them an invite because they assume that you know it's like Gmail. There was a limited number of invites, mm. so so people tend to be more courteous. But it also means that people are hunting them down. I think that really creates an attention because if you just hand it out freely, you know, people might wait a few days, a week. But I think over the past few days, there have been a lot of buzz going on. Apparently, yeah, they were being eBayed off, right? I thought. It is. Uh, yeah. Apparently, oh my God. <laughs> it's, 40, yeah. it's 47 bucks per yeah. invite. Yeah, it's about 50 bucks an invite. Oh, oh my gosh. How much money did I lose? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell oh, me. Oh, what about Harinda? <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Harin is in in the in the chat room by the way. Huh? Uh, <laughs> he's, in the chat room. He's like an invite whore, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, he's listening in, so he'll probably respond. Invite whore. <laughs> cool. Uh, what do you think about the features, though? I mean, uh, you know, fast. Any any from from your perspective, what do you think? Uh, you know, the features. Do you like or do not? The hangout features, but the coolest. I'm not sure yet about, about what I like. Mm. Okay, but what what do you use most at this point in time? Uh, right now, I'm just checking out the stream. What I what I feel like I'm 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 experiencing immediately though. These are the same friends that I have on Facebook. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Twitter. <laughs> mm. Right. And, and uh, actually, how I manage Facebook is I control it with a very tight fist. I have a very, very high control over my privacy options. So I'm wondering if uh, right now Google Plus will be something that I can control like that as well. Mm, but have you, I mean, with the circles, do you think that you can now be better because you're only posting stuff to your, the circles that you want to post to? Like, you know, everybody... I'm, I've already been mom. doing the same in Facebook groups. Yeah, w- w- uh, yeah. So the groups, is it? Hmm. Um, yeah. More like uh, different groups of friends and stuff. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hisham, what do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking that uh, 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 for fast, uh, because I've, I'm more, uh, I've been looking into all the settings for the, uh, for Google Plus. I'm well, mostly Google Talk there. Um... Okay, uh, basically you can, uh, I think it's, as Mike said, uh, you can put in in, in, in varying circles. Uh, and the good part is uh, once uh, after you are... Uh, Whoops. <laughs> after you shared, after you shared uh, an update, you can um, click on the arrow button to uh, what you call disable uh, reshare. So that means it's uh, the, once you share to that circle, you will not allow that information to be reshared outside of that circle. So that is one of the options that's provided. Plus, so that is one additional feature which is good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I and I know uh, uh showing your big Facebook fan. Um. Who what? Me? Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> So what 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 do you think? Would would this is this a redundant thing, or is Google doing something right, or is something that uh, fills up a hole between Facebook and the social networks? I I think Google has always needed to compete with Facebook, right, because of its number of subscribers. Mm-hmm. And then if if you think about it, uh, Facebook is very big in Singapore and probably in some other countries, but it's not hit all the countries yet. So Google still has an opportunity to compete with Facebook on the social network level. And 
<laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, anyone, uh, if you're not talking, you if if you can mute your stuff, it'll be great. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Sharon. Yeah, the clanging of song I think agrees with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I'll I'll take that. No man. That's I, right. I, Let me just go get my pots and pans. So I can <laughs> agree with you and my, I think I I agree with you when when you say that you know Google has learned mm-hmm. a lot from its previous lessons, mm-hmm. and their rollout, you know, while not perfect, has managed to create a buzz, and they have created something that's actually much like Facebook, but in some cases easier to use. Yep. Yep. To, I think I posted up something and says that it actually feels like I feels that experience feels very much like Twitter, where you know you you can use it very quickly and you keep checking for for notifications and stuff that's coming on. And uh, and do you know what's the one thing I really enjoy about about Google Plus is yeah. that there are no freaking games. Hey, no farm. Amen. <laughs> no, yeah, no Farmville. No. Whoa, 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 whoa! You, I was listening to you and whatever, right? So I don't have to see all these useless feeds. Oh, not yet, not yet. I was uh, thinking not yet. about one of the tweet feeds. Uh, apparently, there was something in the code that alluded to um, Google Games coming up. I know. Uh, right yeah, now, basically, I think because you have uh, Google uh, Apps, sorry, Google... Uh, the, name. the gadgets, the Google gadgets, yeah, they will come in. I mean, uh, I, I, think, doubt I think that's inevitable, right? Yeah, it probably will come, but for now, I'm enjoying that because everything that I see is something I know that my friend manually posted and wanted to share. So it's worth actually scrolling down the timeline to, you know, see what I missed out on instead of like on Facebook where, you know, out of 20 posts, five are games and five are, you know, stupid you know you can hide check-ins that. and stuff. I know I can hide that, but there are reasons why I can't hide that. And I'll probably like, share you that. Like, feel love? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm being mean to show in. <laughs> I'm being so mean. <laughs> show in. <laughs> but there is a, you know, send feedback button on the bottom right of the screen. And so you can quickly tell them, please don't add games. No, I think, I think you can, I think they can add games. But because it's early days yet, what they, what they should actually do I mean, if they recognize that enough people find that to be an annoyance, what they what they should actually do is, um, is put that out as a separate category of of messages of some kind, so that you can block, you know, one the whole you can block the whole section and you don't have to listen to it. But I don't think that's going to happen because you know it's not in their best interest. Hmm. Because eventually, that's that's going to be a revenue generating thing for them. I do like the fact that uh, under the settings, there's a section for data liberation. Does is this a, it does does Facebook have something similar? Yeah. Where if you choose to if you choose to walk away, you can actually <clears throat> download, archive, and zip up all your stuff, and then yeah, and then yes, your, yes, yeah. yeah. So that's a, I thought that was a nice uh, that's a nice thing. Sorry, I haven't paid as much attention to Facebook. No, I think Facebook did not publicize it as much. Ah, okay. Yeah. But there was a uh, a privacy uh, sorry a privacy issue that they actually raised to Facebook in the court. And uh, they had to actually, they were forced to actually provide something that allows users to export the data. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, I don't know what's the service right now, but uh, yeah, there, there was something that they actually announced some time ago. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and I guess that, the, I mean, the, the other features, I don't do, it, what Facebook didn't have actually muting some of the, does it have muting and, and hiding some of the posts in Facebook? I think yeah, so. Yeah. I think you can yeah. choose to hide all posts from this particular person. Uh, all or posts. posts from a particular yeah. program. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you program can. Yeah, that's person, right. yeah. That's right. I am a big user of those functions. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> Absolutely. Which is why I haven't received a Farmville notification in years. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> I muted all of those. So do you, can you just mute one post? Uh, you can. Oh. But what's the point, right? I mean, yeah, that only that one then can delete. And then, then the, there's two. Either you delete this one or you remove all future posts from this person or from this app. Hmm. Might as well just unfriend him. And you can always go back to settings yes, and <laughs> adjust that. Yeah. Mm. So it's all in the But prep. there's also something that we experienced uh, quite recently, I think about 
two, three months ago, maybe even before that, but I didn't realize how how on, if you're on Facebook, the interact the friends that you interact with more regularly, their updates will appear um, mm. on the top list yeah. of of your of your Facebook wall, as yeah. opposed to friends that you don't normally um, talk to on the wall or stuff like that. Isn't there a way to turn that off though? Because I found that uh, yeah, I have some old friends, and, and I, I want to know what they're, 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 you know, they're doing, but it doesn't actually show up anymore because, <laughs> you know, because it's less, um, it's less, they're less frequent yeah. updates. Um, there's a setting where you can actually choose who you want to see, whose updates you want to see, and who you never want to see. Oh, uh, okay. So you can actually group them, um, but it 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 takes a lot of effort, I guess, because you have to search one by one and you know move one by one. All right. Mm. There is, yeah. Can you have one I setting? Wonder. Yeah, sorry. Can you have one no, set, no, okay. setting for the entire circle? For the entire group? I don't think so. Mm. I think it goes by person. No, I haven't tried that one. Yet. I haven't played it with that for a long time. Yeah, because then you, you choose, I think you choose um, Facebook automatically sets it to 250 people that they randomly choose. And then you can change it. So I changed mine to 1,000. And then I choose certain people that I never want to see updates from. And I choose certain people that I always <laughs> want to see updates from. So, yeah. Because if it's 250, it's quite limited, I think. Mm. Yeah, I need to go find that one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'm still looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm wondering uh, about is, I wonder if uh, anyone might fall into the trap of being uh, fired by updating stuff on Google Plus. It, it's just been three days, so I think they have not been able to detect anything yet. And they're probably not invited. Matter of time, though, I think. Yeah, but I think, I think people are more aware these days. Mm. So I think there might be less of that. But what I don't understand is, you know, right now as a as, as a personal user, yeah, you can see some value, but how will Google take this to the next level? Because uh, some of the hiccups that they've done for this launch is the limited release thing. So a social network, you need more of your friends on board, right? Mm -hmm. So how many people, you know, are actually not able to and unlike us, they just give up because they can't get an invite, so they're not interested. And then they probably won't come back to after a few weeks later. So all this is preventing me f to see more of my friends on board. And I want to see that, right? If it's a social network, I want to see more people. So Google's way of actually rolling it out is actually, you know, controlling the number of people that could have been on board. And, and, and that may not bode well for it. And plus the fact that Google Plus actually has a mobile app. But from what I understand, it's only available in the US marketplace. So here they have this great social network that they've rolled out. People are you know, raving about people want to get on board, but they are also limiting all your options for people who are outside of the US where you don't get the mobile platform. So I think a lot of these things, Google hasn't really done the right way. Whereas you should have just made it you know, available to everybody at the start rather than say that, okay, you know what, you get this and you get that and you, know, you, you wait a bit and stuff like that. Mm. But I think I they want to create the bus. I think that's what they want. They want they want people to feel like, ooh, you know, it, it's special. I think that. Well, I guess I guess they they are targeting, uh, what they call influencers in within the social network where you know these guys who are, like Robert Scoble, right? Who the moment he joined has like two thousand five hundred people telling <laughs> him at the same time, <laughs> and, and and stuff like that. And they even call him the Scoble virus at this point in time. For the first virus for 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 uh, Google Plus is actually called the Scoble virus. He comes in and he just spams everything when you add him. He just go through everything. Uh, and 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 what what I guess is that when he invites people in, I guess those people become influencers as well. Uh, and is it right now? I mean, I've got uh, about hundred and eight people on my on my circles. Yeah, hundred and eight, uh, and I've got four hundred eighty seven yet to invite <laughs> to find an invite. Uh, I guess I guess it's a matter of time that people. I think, it, and if you look at the early adopters, <clears throat> the laggards and, and, you know, the followers and stuff like that. I guess it, it rolls out along those lines where people who are early adopters gets in quite quickly and they spread the word very far. And those who are laggards who are just thinking, they don't just wait and, and, and people who are not really interested in social networks and they're not there, they'll get there about around that time as well. So I guess uh, the way they controlled it has very, it's quite interesting. Uh, 
because they don't just pull out, they actually pull out all the contacts you have on G, Gmail. And it also can pull out contacts from your Yahoo and Hotmail. And uh, I think if you link the Facebook accounts and the Twitter accounts, I think they try to find things there as well. So the suggestions and the, and the things that they can pull up is a lot. Yeah, but it also complicates things because I have friends who I have access to their personal email, their office email, and some other email. So a person can actually appear five times, you know, mm. on my on my feed. And how is anyone to know which one of the five actually is their Google Plus account? So I start adding randomly, you know, and then I end up sending a lot of spam to my friends. Mm. Right? And I mean, Google doesn't make this easy, mm. Mm. you know. And it, I mean, they could have refined the system a little bit, like even to, to okay, and another one is that they assume that your Google profile or whatever you use is updated. I have some friends who just have an email address and that's it. They don't have their name or anything like that. So looking at some people's profiles, all I see is an email address and I don't identify my friends by their email address. So there are still little, little, little things that, that Google still needs to clean up. You know, to make this a much more easier process for people to come on board. Mm. I, I I think you're right, but the thing is, the the what Google Plus was initially launched to do was not supposed to be a a big social network. It's, it's still very much a testing phase for them, uh, and uh, as it is, it's supposed to be only for three, and it's only been on for three days, right? And yet the adoption rate actually is quite high. Again, it could be a uh, marketing uh, stint like what May has mentioned but I guess um, it actually helps a lot and I agree with you Sharon that uh, you know when you add people uh, actually a lot of things pop up and I just tried to add myself I think there are so many things that it's not even me I mean not even me that I don't even use for the Google Plus right? you've got no idea which is the one that is Google Plus so I'm not sure if you guys are trying to mention me you pop up something else because I my, my, my name pops out a lot of times as well. Okay. okay. Uh other features. I think uh, let's get to the uh hangout. What do you guys think? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I, I think this is the coolest part. Right now. Okay, let me back up. Let me back up. Uh, yeah, sorry, Andrew, go ahead. I, I'm I'm just pretty okay with the rest of the social network aspect of Google Plus, but the Hangout feature, I, I think that's the coolest part of this whole shebang. So that's it, like it, I, I think it, it's it's something that's gonna worry Skype a lot, who uh, ironically, which is what we are using to record the show right now. We're using <laughs> Skype. Yeah, Skype right. doesn't have to but worry; it, they already collected money from Microsoft. Microsoft <laughs> has to worry. <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, point noted. It's Microsoft's problem now. But yeah, the way Hangout works, it, it's really quite, uh, it's really quite seamless. It works a lot better in Skype in terms of the video chatting and the way you can share YouTube videos. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more stuff that, that's down uh, the pipeline in terms of the things you can do on Hangout. Um, that, that's really the most uh, interesting part. Mm. Uh, about Google Plus for me, the rest of the stuff like the sparks and the circles, like yeah, okay, we've seen this somewhere before, um, but the Hangout, yeah, that's really the most interesting thing. Yeah, and you don't need to pay five bucks a month for the video sharing <laughs> on Skype. Yeah, Skype, you have to pay for a premium account, right, to get the group video chat going. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Hangout. Uh, interestingly, actually, like like Andrew mentioned, it's very seamless, easier to to just get people to come on board, and you know, there's nothing to install, just need a webcam, and that's it. It works off the cuff. Yeah, no, no, I agree. I think the uh, the the user experience compared to even to to Skype, trying to get people's video feed going through Skype is a pain in the bum, but. Uh, yeah, the hangout seems to seems to be pretty good. I mean, um, obviously that's gonna be that's gonna be bandwidth dependent. So in bandwidth deficient ah. environments, I think I've uh, learned something today. I learned something okay. today. Uh, uh, well, it's, this this is from Google from Google. A uh, guy I'm talking to, Owen Owen Jones. 
uh, this morning okay. who is from Google. Uh, he's actually an engineer uh, for some of the Google products. Uh, so what happened is that uh, in Skype, it's peer-to-peer. Basically, if you have 10 streams, you got 10 streams going into your computer and you had to manage that in terms of video and that's what it lagged. Mm-hmm. But, Google, but Google Plus Hangout the infrastructure actually belongs to uh, Google. So what you do is that you have an incoming stream as you're broadcasting your video to Google server. Mm -hmm. You're also receiving only one stream from Google to your computer that consolidates everyone's video into that Ah. one stream. Oh, that's smart. Yep. So that's why Google Hangout uh, works so much better uh, than Skype video. Oh, that's smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Google owns the uh, 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 telecommunication point in most countries. Yeah, the cable connecting point. So uh, I, I'm not sure how they do with the uh, uh, respective uh, ISPs in each countries, but uh, the the way Google does it is that uh, they have their own internal private network to every country for their own services. So this. They could just rely on this particular network to roll out Google Plus. Ah. Yeah, and, and, and that's why even with a fast network that they already own, they're actually making it even better by not providing you with 10 streams. If we are, you know, like right now we have eight streams uh, coming in from everybody. They only have one stream coming in from Google servers into your computer, which, you know, just makes things even so much better. And touching a bit, touching a bit on what we, um, I think Sheldon touched on a bit on the UX, the user experience for your yeah, hangout. I think the UX user experience overall for Plus, um, I, I think it's, it's it. Google has really done quite an okay, not bad of a job, because uh, I think Plus, the rollout of Plus also was in conjunction with uh, sort of. Uh, a makeover of Google's uh, overall design because the rest of the Google products like Calendar, Maps, they all they all have adopted the same look and feel as, as uh, Google Plus as well. So it's more unified now. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what do you guys what do you guys think about that? This new look. Like try yeah, and no, I agree. I agree. Map. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I think the I think the UI change is is subtle enough. because um, if you hit I don't know about you guys, but if you hit uh, Google.com, the main search page now, the tweaks to the to the search results and all that, it's very subtle. So it's still Google, you know, the the clean white thing. But but yeah, I think it's a nice uh, it's a nice tweak to the UI and the fact that they made it consistent across uh, and carried it over to 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 Google Plus. Yeah, I think it's a nice uh, it's a nice thing. Somebody was commenting that. Uh, Ah, uh, where did I read that? It's designed by one of the guys on the original Macintosh. Was it one of the original Mac design team members? Yeah, the yeah, way cool. back, way back, the original Macintosh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. So I have him on my uh, on my list. Apparently, he's in Singapore. Uh, really? Yep. So the guy, um, his name is Kate Gates. Uh, let me get huh? him on. I'm gonna put it up on live. Uh, on live oops sorry uh i'm not me coming on live yet let me just because i just added him today he just um he, uh kate's gases and okay. uh let me see kate's gases and he's yeah this is profile uh okay if you look at his post um he says that yes it's great oh andy hatfield sorry that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, that sounds a bit. Andy Hatfield, like... yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Andy Hatfield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andy Hatfield yeah. is the one who who's the one who did design. Sorry, he reposted it. I thought it was him. Uh, yeah. So some confusion there because uh, I uh, I'm still probably not fully used to Google Plus as well. So the resharing looks very much like um, it's part of your own post. Until yeah. So so some of that some of that stuff is still not too clear to me. I mean, the plus one thing, I I got it when it was. Um, when it was outside of this, when you're plus oneing a, a a link or you're plus oneing, you know something that you like, well, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you plus one it inside Google Plus, what is that? What does that imply other than a like, which is an upvote, right? Yep. 
Is it's that a it? Facebook, is that... like a like? Yeah, like a yeah. Facebook yeah. like. I, I just treat yeah. it as a like. Yeah, I think I think it started a lot on Twitter as well. A lot of people have been, you know, uh, plus oneing everything. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, and uh, I guess uh, uh, Google just took it and yes, oh wow, you know, and just use that. Somebody, actually, I know uh, David Ching. I remember him saying, "Oh, actually, somebody actually made the plus one button." Um, okay, so I haven't uh, I haven't spent a whole lot of time on this. I have to admit the. Explain to me how the stream is like Twitter now, because I, I still don't quite see that. Um, or friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just me. I know I'm just appearing the only one. Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's like 13 people, 13 whole people in my circles. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I haven't spent a whole heck of a lot of time on this thing, okay? <laughs> oh, no, now it's 22. All right, I've got 22 people in my circles. Hey, seriously, look at this. I just I just reshuffled a whole bunch of different people around, right? Mm-hmm. I've added a few pe- people to myself at the time that you guys have been talking and all that. Mm-hmm. And you know the find and invite in brackets, the number has dropped now to 491. So that means I do have 500 invites. Have you have you invited people? Well, that's the thing. All I did was I dragged them into circles and I made no, new circles. No, it's, but that it's number not, dropped, it's not, right? It's not. It's not. Oh, it's, it's just not. the number of people who are in my what? circles who are not on. Yes, not correct. On Google Plus. I think I think the so again, when, does that constitute when start, an invite? No, when you start. Okay, what what I did was when you when I started, I also saw five hundred. Right. And what I did was that uh, under find an invite, I actually connected it to my uh, Hotmail account, and so it pulled the contact list from my Hotmail, and then uh, I'm right now at nine hundred plus. So I think it added the five hundred over people from my oh, Hotmail. Also, these are. Okay, so, so that count is basically the potential number of new Google Plus users that, that I think, you could... I think that I count... I think it's based on whoever you have on your contact list, yeah, whether it's month, a Gmail like, or Yahoo, yeah. Correct, yeah, but why did the number drop? Because just now I started with 500, now I've got 491. So it's like, yeah, me too. You've added 492. So probably you've added nine people onto your list. So they... See, that, that's, that's the weird thing about this finding people stuff. Like, yeah. there are people that when I put into circles their names get removed from my primary list. So I know that in circles. But there are some names that don't get removed. Uh, Actually, all the names are still there. None of it is removed. No, for for me, I see some that get removed. Like Mike Mike no longer appears as as a contact that I can possibly add in Google Plus because I've already added him. No, that's true. When I when I drag a when I drag a name from the from the people not yet on Google Plus, when I drag them over to one of my circles, they disappear from that list. Yeah, but not all your names disappear. I've realized that. So Ooh. I don't know how Google calculates this. So I do have friends that I've added whose names appear there. Friends that I've added whose names no longer appear. Yeah, obviously we have to pass some Google PhD entrance exam to figure out the math for this. Like, <laughs> where did the nine people go and where they come from? And What does it mean? What does it mean? But I think that find and invite that 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 number in brackets that you see beside it. I don't I don't think it means anything. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, it <laughs> they're means just, they're just means, messing with you. It means false hope. Well, probably. it is their best guess anyway. Best guess of yeah. people we might want to add to a circle. But uh, but five hundred people. People I've added from uh, not from using find and invite still appears in my list. Like, you know, I've got Pritam, I've got Mark Ku. No, but the, the, you're talking about the top list or you're talking about the... No, yet- you know there's three links of people in your circle, people who have added you, find and invite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, brackets right. 487. Everyone starts off at 500 for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And there's another, you know, Google math. I've got 487 right now because I don't know, as I go along, I don't really add them. Uh, yeah. Onto my circle. When I first started, I added a few from the from the suggested list that they given to me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. after that, it's more like you know people who are adding me. I'll then you know add them at the same add time. Yeah. yeah. I don't go to the find yeah. and invite thing. But the number okay. drop when I do that. But the names that I've already added are still there. Hmm. Yeah. So like Pritam, Pritam is definitely somebody I added some time. Yeah. Ago. Yeah. It, that that list to you know. Question: I still question what's going on with that with that contact list. I've mm. seen number. I've seen names appear, disappear, reappear. I yeah, just, yeah, I just, yeah, I've just decided to ignore it. 
I, so if, if I, I think you're spending too much time thinking about this, it's just <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you care, right? No, I, I really <laughs> think that the, I just saw the number just now only. No, I really think that their their system is still weird. Like, okay, so on the main Google Plus screen, right? Under in your circles, there's a suggestions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are contacts that you may know on Google Plus. Right. That you haven't added, right? Right. Suggestions. I still see people that I've already added, and right now, like, I'm seeing a friend, and I have her in my circle as friends, and she still appears in my suggestions list. So oh, I really I think something is screwy on Google's part. They haven't really perfected this system yet. Because if I already added this friend, you know, in my circle, she should not oh, be popping up in my circle. No, chat. I think I know why. Because you can add one person into many circles. So after you add one into one circle, you can still add a person into a different yeah. circle. Yep. Yeah, but then I so mean, it has that, to stay up. That's, kind of, that's, that's kind of pointless, right? Because I already added her in one. I don't need you to make like you know Mike's name or Sheldon's name appear every time just so that I can decide to add him in another circle what if I don't want to right yeah. <laughs> which is a nice segue to the to the to the next thing which which uh, Mike actually brought up I think in one of the things that I saw on the stream was the editing of the circles like mm. can circles overlap you know the whole Venn diagram I think you were yeah. having a discussion yeah Mike was having a fit about that I was definitely having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I demand Google to give one to me. No, but seriously, wouldn't it be cool if you could you send that, you send like a Venn diagram? Uh, no, I'm not feed, uh, feedback. And yes, I would love to have something that creates sub circles, for example, or what, or Venn diagram or whatever. I'm, I'm looking at, for example, I'm saying technology, and technology has so many aspects in technology which I need people, you know, to fit in there, right? Yeah. So. I could have family members or family members who are cousins or family members who are family yeah. members that I do not want to talk to and family members. Yeah, who yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. No, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. I, I was, when I, when I saw that on the stream, I was like, yeah, I totally understand. You know, to me, it's not OCD. That's, that's how I would like to arrange it as well. <laughs> you like the family, including the uncles and the aunties. And then you, sometimes you just want to talk to the cousins without the uncles and the aunties. Exactly. You see that, Leah? Yeah, yeah. There's no OCD. OCD. Yeah. I, I, have to say. I think I have OCD as well. No, I, I, I actually agree with Mike on that. Yeah, a little bit of uh, control over your circles is, is would would be a huge plus. Yeah, but I, I think that I think that's just gonna overcomplicate things a bit too much. Cause right now this circles concept it's already something that's new and for the general public it's something new that they gotta learn and then wrap their heads yeah. around then you if you wanna go and immediately dump circles and then sub circles and then vein diagrams and then they'll be thinking <laughs> oh god oh god I'm back in math class back in math <laughs> again you know I, I so just I, I, I think keeping it simple right now is the best move for people I just need so, I just need yeah. sub circles that's it so Mike maybe you could do family dash favorite Family dash not so favorite. Family dash yeah. to talk to. <laughs> yeah, just, but then I've got like so just many two them. different two different circles for them. Yeah, he's just being yeah. OCD. That's it. Mm. Right. Yeah, it, I mean it may work for for us who are you know who one that really fine tune detail, but for the general populace, I, I don't think okay it's going to be difficult for them to wrap their heads around. That. Right. Here's the other thing though. Something I want to circle in a circle. I want to pull this entire circle of friends mm -hmm. in so that I don't have to. Pick one by right. one. Again. Yes. I want to just pull sure. the entire circle into this other circle as well. You know. You try. You tried, right? You tried pulling the circles into the move, right? <laughs> I yeah, yeah. I actually tried. <laughs> 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 hey, you can't help me for trying, right? I need to, you know, make sure that it helps. It's okay. I tried too. <laughs> there, there's, there's a solution for that, right, Michael? Ah, uh, what? You, you just double click on the circle, which uh -huh. will, will pop up another tab on top, yes. and then you create a new circle. And then on top there, you control A, drag everything to the new circle. Huh? What? Hmm? How? Lost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what? So yeah. let's say you have your, let me see, uh, friends. Hmm. Friends, and right? And acquaintance, yeah. Uh, another, another group of friends. You just double click on it. You can actually, uh, once you double click on it, it will open, open up a new tab. Click or double click. Yeah, you don't need click or double click. Yeah. Yeah. And then once uh, you... You uh, what do you call? Uh, you see, select all, select all, select all, and you can. Hmm? 
Hmm. And. Okay, I'm okay. lost. Okay. I'm lost. Um. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to find the link for you. I'll have to find the link for you because I was looking at. Oh my god! Uh, just ask me if I want to delete my circles. What did you make you? <laughs> you press. You press remove, didn't you? No, I just double click like you told me to. Oh, it's a single click. It's not a double click. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I can. Oh, I can edit description. Hey, actually, in uh, in in JavaScript, is there an event firing for double click? No, right? No. No. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Yep. And uh, okay. yeah. So okay. So the I think <laughs> next thing that I think is quite good was the uh, notifications. I switched really? them off. Really? You haven't used the notifications? I've I've gotten some. I don't see what's great about them. So <laughs> so it, okay. Why so the, them off? so here's the thing, right? The, what you get in your stream is exactly. you're getting it uh, by the latest comment. So anybody who comments on something, even if the oh. post is like three hundred posts down, and somebody comments it just now, it actually comes up to gets, the top. It just gets bumped up. I see. It just yes. gets bumped up right to the top. But when these things happen, things jump a lot, and you got no idea where things are, right? Uh, okay. Notifications add a few things to it. One is that uh, the time that people actually uh, notifies or rather comment a post that you commented it or, or mentioned you in, a, in, in some of the posts, uh, it actually gets consolidated in a timeline format. So as and when things happen, right? So which, which actually has the best of both worlds in one. And secondly, I think uh, you can actually reply directly to the post from your... From your um, uh, notifications, notifications yeah. Uh, pop yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So, which yes. is a great yes. thing, and you don't have to, you know, worry about it. And then the thing gets bumped up straight, and up. you can mute this post, haha, <laughs> yes, and all that. Oh, somebody just did. <laughs> I have a question though, uh, because I just, I just saw something on one of my notifications. Uh, apparently, you can just add anybody, is it? Yeah, yes, just put <laughs> I had a friend who added Larry Page, Sergey Brin, and Mark Zuckerberg. I added them too. Oh, Larry and Sergey. Just like oh, Twitter, just like Twitter, her. just like Twitter, you can add people, but they don't necessarily need to add you back. So when you add somebody, what's the what's the Twitter and what's the Twitter equivalent? Following. Huh? Following. following uh, yep. There's even a default circle called following one. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to clue you in on what it's supposed to be for. I wonder yeah, but, why. But, <laughs> but if you're following a person. Might, but, but if I you're following you. a person and and the person doesn't add you in a circle, so you're just following him and he doesn't actually ever say anything to you. No, no. no actually, they can, there's a public button, so. Yeah, that's only if they make a, if they make it public. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But okay. you can see their stream, right? Uh, as long as they put their stuff public. Yeah. But they cannot see your stream, and they have, or you can actually mention them, and they can actually get notified. And if you're uh, Larry and and uh, and Sergey and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, their emails are on Google profile. So you add them, you actually can see their emails. Mm. So a lot of people are adding them just to get their <laughs> personal emails so that they can contact them directly. Yeah, Is that a good idea? Yeah. So now, now is the time to actually tighten up your, your Google profile. Because... Uh, uh, it actually your Google profile is now public, very public, because of the social network. Good point. Good point. I see. I'm my... using a different Google. I have too many Google Gmail accounts. <laughs> Why do you have different... so many Gmail accounts? Okay, I use them for different things. Um... <laughs> Okay. We shall. Private, professional, business, <laughs> official, non-official. Yeah. yeah. Sounds and dodgy. Some <laughs> of your social media stuff and <laughs> your different signups and all these things. So I don't get six Bam. months of email. Yeah. Michael. Yeah, I yeah, fall Michael. into one of the. I mean, spamming the the uh, feed, which I've now switched off all the email notifications, so I don't get. Right. <laughs> Anything else you guys think uh, that's good that's uh, around the table? I think the the killer thing though, uh, going forward, that's actually going to determine for a, for a huge part whether this thing is going to take off or not is um, uh, mobile device support. 
Yes. And mm-hmm. that that's going to be critical. How how well how well the experience that you see on the web translates over to the to the devices. Proton. Mm. What's the data? So, so who has the Android app? I mean, because the iOS app is not ready. I, I have it. I have it. You have, have it. it. What, what yeah. what's the experience right now? Oh, it's, it's pretty neat. So they're, they're actually, when you, when you install the APK, there are actually two separate apps that appear. One is on Google+, and the other one is the Huddle. So anytime you get included in a Huddle conversation, uh, it's sort of like Google Talk or WhatsApp, or it's just an independent chat window that comes up. So you can actually Why start chatting that? with people. How do you Sorry? access that on the web experience, though? The, the huddle? The huddle, yeah. Uh, it's just the chat, is it, or what? Chat is different from budget? huddle? That's a very good question. Because there's a setting for it. If you look in the Google Plus settings, there's actually a setting for huddle. There's a section there that starts a huddle conversation with me, right? Mm-hmm. But I can't see it in the main window unless it's that chat thing that's on the left under the uh, under the sparks. But I think that's Google chat right that was google chat yeah that should be google chat actually yeah. you're right i don't know because i've only used that uh on my phone chatting with friends 100 right. okay yeah, huddle. yeah I, think huddle, I think someone mentioned huddle huddle only works yeah huddle only works on, on mobile works, works on, on mobile then? oh right yeah okay yeah what's the difference though? so I'll... yeah what is the difference what is the user experience on Huddle? Turn mm. on the light and show us on it's the video. Right now, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> no. Right now, we're just using it. I'm just using it as a group chat option. Uh, you get push notification and you can actually choose to leave the Huddle anytime you want. So if, if it's a group so. conversation... <laughs> if it's a group conversation... Yeah, so... Actually, you're right. I've never really thought about using it on a browser because browser I already have Google chat mm. yeah interesting okay. maybe when you create a multi-chat it might but is there Google chat on the mobile? Uh, there are Google there is... does the huddle take over that? I don't but there is but I don't know whether there's a there's a group chat okay, option I'm gonna add Andrew oh, and, okay, okay. Uh, I see and uh, invite. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no. If you look at the chat, it says choose circles for chat. Does that mean it's going to group Good chat? Go to chat. The whole thing? Oh, yeah. That's possible. Chat. And so then- when is it supposed to come to Malaysia, not US only? The Android app. It's available. You just got to find a way to get to it. Yeah, I have a file somebody wants. Um, okay. Just, yeah. I'm okay, I just... It. I just enabled. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you show. My only other question right now is: Will Google Plus integrate an equivalent of Facebook pages for companies to actually come on board? They should. Because, yeah. They yeah, should. Just, if they want to. Very strong. Yeah, but I mean, how are you gonna do it? Like, have a company create like a coca cola at coca cola.com email and everybody follows it and then somebody has to manage it and i mean i'm just trying to figure out how this will make it unique to google plus and not just be a copy of facebook pages uh, hmm. the, okay. i think uh, i think start as a copy and then differentiate afterwards <laughs> <laughs> But the web app also has, uh, has what do you call a huddle? Yeah, yeah but that's app. just Google. Gtalk. That's, that's just Google Chat. That's just normal Gmail. Oh, really? It's the same as the one you have in Gmail. So, so yeah, it is, so it is G- no, no, it, uh, like in a web app, right? If you go to m.google.com mm-hmm. slash Yeah, so my, my suspicion oh. is huddle is just basically a... Uh, a mobile front end for a TikTok. That's it. Oh, I see. That's that's what I think. So they're renaming it to be Huddle. That's interesting. Well, it's just a front end. Mobile that's front end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Huddle is actually a, a company they bought for group chat forum. Huddle is a company that does uh, all those uh, event <laughs> event manage event management and stuff like that. 
Okay, Mike. Mm. I just figured out how to do what I want to say just now. Yes. Ah, okay. okay, let's say we go back to the Google Plus. Uh, yes. I have a group here called Bloggers. So okay. I double click on it. So uh -huh. I open up this uh, window, right? Right oh. at the bottom of the window, uh -huh. there's, thing, there's this thing called View Circle in tab. So when you click on it, it will uh -huh. open up in tab. And when you go to on the right side, you see more actions. You select all, and then you can create a new circle, then download, drag, and you know, drag and drop to new circle. Ah, interesting. Oh. So this is one way you can, you don't have, it's, 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 it's a workaround for your sub circle thing. Like. It's not a workaround, basically, that one, it's not, it's not a sub circle, it's, it's more copy, like. It's copy yeah. circle, basically. Yeah, copy the entire circle down. Copy, circle, copy circle, the entire yeah. circle, or copy uh, certain parts of the circle that you've already yeah, created. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. So you start off, you create a giant group, and then you duplicate it, and then tear it down from there. Yes, correct. Uh, there, I have. I put everyone on my friends list, so everyone's my friend. But there are certain groups, there are certain <laughs> circles, like my tech my... five or the. Uh, How many everyone. circles do you have? Uh, everyone. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, friends, bloggers, corporate, Skoga, tech C five, and video chat. The rest? Uh, the rest are the... No, no, no. I mean the rest of the people in the podcast. Yeah. How many circles do you guys have? Not that, not that I'm trying to, you know, profile you guys. How many circles do you have, man? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including blocks. Wow. Do I have? For, I someone, have for someone who has 15, that's a lot of circles. <laughs> yeah, well, I know, but I've got like two Seven circles of people inside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I think? You, you know what I think, though, about this circles thing? I hmm. think everyone eventually, when they first start out on Google+, Plus, they're going to go like crazy. Oh, I'm going to add this guy into this circle. Yes. And they have like a gazillion circles. Yes. After a month. Oh, I'm just gonna put everyone into friends. I don't give a crap. About but but you don't have to. You can actually click on the stream, it's, right? And yeah, and it's just every. I think eventually people are just gonna get burnt out and just add everyone into one giant. Scene. What the hell? My it's final invite number hit. just jumped back to five hundred. <laughs> ah, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> just be careful when that day comes. You don't find yourself saying, "Oh gosh, this is just like Facebook." <laughs> wait, wait, the time has come. People are saying it's already come. The first hey, time uh, I saw the I, first time I saw the stream, I was like, wait a minute. It looks like Facebook. Wait, it's exactly like Facebook. Your profile's <laughs> on the top. Wait, wait, let me let me bring up Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> and do it yeah, message. but with Facebook having what, 600, 700 million users, is that necessarily a bad thing? No. I think that's what Google wants, right? <sighs> that's true. You see, uh, yeah, you have the left, you have uh, my avatar and my name. Oh, it's the same as Facebook. Right. Wait, it has news feeds, it has streams. Wait, it's exactly the same. Uh, okay, it doesn't have messages. Wait, it has a Gmail top. Except for events. Well, there's Google Calendar right on top. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> yep. So people will finally use Google Calendar properly, I suppose. It's three columns. Search is on the top. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, so clone first and then differentiate later. That's right. So yeah, I think I agree with us. Finally, people properly use uh, Google Calendar to accept an event. <laughs> and you'll all be integrated. You'll be all one. You shall all become one circle. All right. So, anything, anything else uh, that strikes up besides all that and the background chatter? So that's uh, our initial um, breakdown of what Google Plus is. I think it is. Uh, I know in conclusion, it looks like people are getting onto this network and people are liking it. And uh, you know, it's very rare when Google do something like that. Uh, people actually liked it in the first three days. Um, and I don't know, I think it has a potential. What do you guys think? Potential, no potential. I hate it. Quick. I think it's the closest that Google has come mm. to to actually compete on a level playing ground with Facebook. Agree. Yep. 
cool. Yep. Yeah, agreed. But, at, but this, at the end of the day, how do we, you know, to me, it's just another, it's, and it's yet another social network. What's going to, you know, what's going to be the compelling thing? But, you know, it's like, it's like uh, Sherwin was saying, games are going to be inevitable. Uh, God knows what else is going to be inevitable. So coming down the pipeline, considering it's Google, it should be quite interesting. Mm. Oh, I think for a lot of people, you know, you may not check your Facebook every day. I mean, I don't know who here doesn't check Facebook every day. Me. But I definitely check my Me. email every day. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. you check your email every day. So every yeah. day you're going to sign in and you're going to see notifications. That's you're going right. to do a Google search. You're going to be, you know, doing, reading up on news articles and the notification bar will always be there. And, that's a very, uh, very good point. Yeah, that's a very good point. Time to turn them off right now. <laughs> <laughs> No notifications you can turn off. You can you turn off you can, like, you can turn off email notifications, but you can't. Yeah, turn yeah, off. email, emails. I just don't need to be pinged on email every other, you know. Oh no no, it's just that when you click when you go into email, that new bar is going to be on top right now, uh, with your Google. Oh, the black, with, the black bar. Yeah, the black, the black bar with the Google Plus, and it yeah. has the uh, notification with a share button and the. Uh, notifications right there so you will never miss the notification oh i see i see that's what you mean yeah, yeah. and then if you just do a google search if you just even go to news or images that bar will always be there yeah so as, no, long as, good, you're, good. as long as you're on a google service you know you are already part of google plus that's and, very and, and that's more powerful than facebook where you actually have to manually log in and, and, and actually do stuff yep true 100 percent agree good point very good point. Yeah, one thing we forgot to talk about is that integration. Cool. And uh, that's the um, podcast for the week. Uh, the hottest thing that around, the new hot new network. Okay, one, one question, everybody uh, to answer this. Will you switch or will this be something that uh, you will not use? Uh, or, uh, what? Not switch, sorry. Will this something you will be using more often or something you will not be using? Let's start from Mei Ying. Nay Ye. She just clashed her pots and pans. She agrees with you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fast. Um, it's a bit too early to tell for me. Uh, mm. But right now, I do feel comfortable using it. Cool. Mm. Andrew? I will use this as much as Facebook, which is not very much at all. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, take that as you will. Right. I think it it's still early for me because I I haven't really explored what you can or cannot do uh, as yet. I check Facebook a lot, so it's hard to say right now. Mm. Um, Isham. Um, I hope that uh, Google Plus don't go the way of Plug. I don't go there anymore. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, friend feed. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Or friend feed. I still have uh, notifications from friend feed. Um, yeah, I just try, like to try new things and um, feel how figuring out how this fits into my current links. And we open it back, back to Mei Ying if she wants to contribute. No, I think <laughs> she's... She's busy dismembering of her point. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Facebook fanboy, Sherwin. I'm going to give Google Plus more of a chance than I gave Google Wave. So. All right. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I'm going to stick around for a while, see how it... If, okay, fine. <laughs> you kill me. <laughs> Bain is trying to tell you something, Sherwin. She I likes it. Have... She likes it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I say, I say yeah, something. Okay. Uh, Sherwin, Sherwin actually. Yes, like two flashes of the pants say no. <laughs> That's right. Three, three or more is absolutely yes. <laughs> but I think Sherwin made a really, really good point with the with the black bar. I don't know what the hell they're calling it, but I'll call it the black bar. Uh, um, because in any given day, I definitely am going to hit Gmail. I'm definitely going to hit Reader. Um, and then the fact that, you know, there's there's the calendar there and this is just another click away. So, yeah, it's probably going to be easier to click check this than, than follow up on Facebook. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's 
uh, the G plus breakdown for the night, and uh, we can uh, yeah, and it's a wrap for the It Channel episode sixty seven. Amazingly, we only have one topic, and we actually can talk for an hour. Um, and this is episode sixty seven of the weekend edition, and uh, of course, let's signing off. We have Sheldon, Sheldon, goodbye, Sheldon Go dot dot com or Twitter dot com slash Sheldon Sheldon Go, correct, and. Andrew, Andrew Cock from uh, twitter.com slash Andrew KJS. Yep. Uh, Leah, Banshe, twitter.com slash Banshee Creative. Yep. Fast, twitter.com slash Fast underscore Zerk. Uh, Fast underscore Kirk. Kirk. I, yes. Sorry. Uh, Captain Kirk. That's right. Captain Kirk. K E R K. K E R K, absolutely. That's right. Uh, Twitter uh, and Maying Twitter dot com slash Maying T, clangs clangs no, okay <laughs> absolutely yes three clangs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hisham uh, Twitter dot com slash uh, M Hisham or M Hisham dot org. Oh yes, that's correct. That's right. And an- uh, Angel Showing. I keep calling you Angel now. <laughs> yes, to that. <laughs> It's all your fault. And, it was all uh, part of the plan. That's right. Sherwin, uh, twitter.com slash Sherwin. Hey. Slash Angel <laughs> <laughs> See you for how the- confused that I can get. Your name is now Angel Sherwin. That's the time when you need to call him Angel. Angel. <laughs> yeah, so we're signing off. Uh, and I'm uh, Mike Fung or at twitter.com uh, slash Mike Fung or Mike Fung.com. F O O N G. Uh, I know some mistakes being done today. Uh, and this has been the It Channel podcast. See you guys. Bye bye.